tough when you when you when you have to make that decision and and say right I've started but I'm not going to finish. John Seawood. I've, I'm a Philly runner. I've been running about 10 years. Um, I've been part of a club running a bit more seriously for about six when we moved to Cardiff with me and my wife. Um, I, um, I've run four marathons. I've done three half Ironman and uh, two Ironman, including Ironman Wales last year. Um, I chose Tanavan um, for the challenge and also obviously to raise money for, for a good cause for the Kids Cancer Charity which um, being a special needs teacher my children are really important to me and the idea of 10 climbs in 24 hours sounded like a challenge worth uh, giving a go. mentally prepare you sort of ready physically or as ready as you can be and then you just try and get your mind in the zone and you when I arrived I I hadn't had the best week and I was trying to sort of work out physically what I was capable of so I ended up opting to split the the ten descents into two and have a nice little break in the middle to try and recharge, rebuild, refuel for the next stage. We went on to climb one, which was, uh, which as always, the gun goes off. Um, you get runners herring off. first two climbs felt smooth, felt nice to be out there, um, surprisingly colder than I was expecting at the top. I think it was, um, conditions were good, better than initially anticipated, so it felt good and first two no problems. Um, third climb, I started to notice that my stomach wasn't quite playing ball with nutrition. Um, kept eating, even though it didn't quite feel right. Um, got to the top, amazing sunset. That third descent was, was worth the entry fee. Just before starting, I, I could tell something was starting to unravel itself slowly. Um, but at that point I made the decision to get the fourth one done in the dark and then leave the fifth because my initial plan had been to split, split it halfway, five and five. So um, got that fourth one done. That was tough getting to the, to the end of the fourth one, just struggling to keep, keep nutrition down and um, 
mentally still felt focused, but was already trying to visualize a good night's rest and setting up for the next day. I tried to get a bit of rest again, like started to struggle a bit physically before even laying down. Unfortunately, I didn't really sleep during the four, four and a half hours. I was laying there and set everything up, managed to get half a banana, a bit of cereal bar and a bit of fluids down me. And then went back out and arriving at the start, your caveman instinct kicks in and, and you just want to get, get it done, get to the finish. I wasn't far behind because I'd done the first four in about four hours and 20 minutes. So loads of time to crack out another six and, and get it done. Didn't take long to realize that gradient and lack of recovery was gonna have a serious impact. And then um, reluctantly um, decided that that would be it. You're always going to have bad days. You're going to have a lot of good days if you train hard, if you prepare, if you focus, then the good days will come.